It's an industry worth around $15 billion across the world. Now, scientists are examining how Scotland can tap into the potential of seaweed. A pioneering seaweed academy has been set up in Oban. The Scottish Association for Marine Science is growing crops on special farms to see how it can be used in food, medicine and cosmetics. Nicola McCallie reports from Oban. It's a common sight along our coastline. Seaweed is in plentiful supply across Scotland. But near Oban, an experimental farm has been set up to tap into what's being tipped as big business. We've got a history of uh, using seaweed in a range of industrial applications. It used to be harvested from natural kelp communities, but we want to avoid harvesting too much from our natural kelp communities and instead learn methods to cultivate seaweed in a sustainable way. The seaweed sector is worth $15 billion across the world and is used in everything from pharmaceuticals to cosmetics to foodstuffs and even as a substitute for plastic. And now Scotland is set to be at the heart of its own seaweed revolution. The Scottish Association for Marine Science has launched a seaweed academy, running courses in cultivation and exploring the potential commercial opportunities. We can use it as a biomaterial, we can use it as a biofuel, we can use it uh, for food, uh, for low carbon, animal feed, uh, all, all of these great applications. But let me show you the future. So you are coming. Vincent Dumiel is a global seaweed expert and says investment in the sector across the world shows it's being taken seriously. One of the richest men of the world, Jeff Bezos to name it, uh, has granted uh, $100 million to uh, ease the social licensing for seaweed. Investment in seaweed have been multiplied by 24 in Europe over the last 10 years and it has doubled again uh, last year. So, so it's growing, it's coming. I mean, there's a seaweed momentum right now. Sam's is also a pioneer in the world of algae, another sector which is billed as having untapped potential. The oldest strain here dates back to 1889 and the organisms were deemed so important some were smuggled out of Europe during the Second World War to prevent them being lost during the Nazi invasion. The culture collection has just received funding to allow more research to be carried out into how the algae can be used to create new products and medicines. We are essentially a kind of bio, uh, botanical gardens or a library of algae. We've got approximately 3,000 different strains of microalgae, seaweeds, cyanobacteria, protozoa and pathogens. We're kind of internationally renowned. We ship our strains and our services across the world. Seaweed research has, and algal research has been going on in SAMS for several years now. Um, so that we are, I think, probably the world leaders in seaweed research. For most of us, the potential of seaweed and algae has perhaps been a secret well kept in this corner of Scotland, but not, it seems, for much longer. Nicola McCallie, ACV News.